Are you ready to rage? And the internet's going crazy. Tie interceptor proving grounds. Trash. But luckily the king of Triple B and the Kyber Empire, we sat here devising several strategies to help you get tie interceptor shards that's the first proving grounds that has tie interceptor fantastic ship five star unlock if you're starting from scratch it's gonna take about seven months or so to unlock this bad girl but it is incredibly difficult people yelling and complaining luckily we found a few strategies that make it pretty easy hopefully you're in the realm of some of the suggestions we have but in case you're <laughs> it's not on your radar uh yeah a lot of uh, <laughs> uh dissatisfied customers right now with the Proving ground situation. Uh, it's very difficult, incredibly tough. Uh, hey guys, uh, just real quick, just wanna pause it. Hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, just wanna say that this video is gonna be already slightly outdated. Uh, CG made the event a little bit easier. There's no more seventh sister, they put an eighth brother. So the strategies you're gonna see are gonna still work, especially in the first one of Treya lead. But just wanna let you know that it's gonna be a lot easier for you folks. And you're probably gonna have more options at your disposal. So hope that helps. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. Great to be in the Empire today. Uh, all right, uh, Gary, let's roll it. The handle, it's all over the Reddit page and in the community. But again, we're gonna help you out. A lot of great suggestions and uh, from the Reddit, from the comment section here on our live stream. But let's go show you some of the options that we have. Uh, and again, this is definitely not going to be a complete list. It's just the stuff that we made work the past hour or so playing on this. We're luckily able to play this event, but they're about to patch it soon. So we only have about 10 minutes before they patch it, and then I can't play Proving Grounds anymore. Two things. The unanimous decision is Treya, Nihilus, uh, with Sith Eternal, with Malik, whatever it might be. Pretty much instant win. It's not going to be a three-star win, but you're guaranteed to win, it seems like. This, though... For those that maybe went more down the Galactic Republic route, Gas, Jedi Master, Kenobi, this is like bulletproof. Almost gonna win. Everyone wants to say hi to YouTube? All right, let's go say hi to YouTube, everyone. Here's all the fantastic people sitting with me, working through all this. I spent an extra 2,000 crystals just so we can come up with some more stuff. So everyone say hi really quickly. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Future Me. There we go. Look at all the YouTube folks. There we go. We've been sitting here for about an hour and a half or so, and we wasted crystals because it's challenging, and Reva is a really annoying cookie to deal with so there you go there's your highs let's keep on moving got to make sure we share the love uh set the turn if you have set turn it seems like you're golden especially if treya watt tambor is another option we're gonna run a few of these uh i did make ray one win once it's a bit rng dependent where you need to get the inspiration on ray before she goes into ultimate and you need someone taunting so she's not being critically hit with all the terminator grand inquisitors getting she's gonna one shot insta kill with her ultimate so you might need to line this up and then i did one with kenobi one time as well it was a little tricky i may have gotten lucky but let's show you a few of these so treya worked fine i'm, I'm gonna assume that some people have malik i made it work without malik if you're at four million chances are you have a malik at that point this is basically uh too easy with treya and i actually put it on full auto i walked away my dog was going crazy kyle was barking at squirrels and i came back and we won actually we won too quickly and then i had to spend the crystal to keep on testing few things working out here all the damage over time the debuffs it's fueling nihilus's termeter which is great uh second thing that's working in our favor here is nihilus is increasing his max health with all these debuffs on treya treya is getting all the bonus protection on her when she's getting debuffs as well on the Sith trio so there's a lot of things working in our favor you might need to play it a few times that's just how it is you might need to run it a few times the good thing is it's not a galactic legend event where you're gonna get screwed with tickets if it doesn't work once you go in there you try it again and eventually the rng the luck is gonna be on your side here we go we're gonna do another thing killing me is kind of nasty on niles unfortunately but luck look again all the damage over times are landing on treya niles is getting terminated to try to keep up unfortunately it's not gonna help out much let's pop that taunt for right now and let's go niles there we go let's go pop this on over Ooh, i kind of wonder if i should try to keep uh you know let's try to keep malik alive a little bit longer here we go pop the insta kill boom there you go the great thing is too malik is able to apply fear so there we go that's gonna be option number one i gotta make sure we don't win or else i have to spend another 2,000 crystals but again niles you know let's uh, let's do this let's put it on airplane mode just to show you all the way through trey and nihilus carries all the way home uh looks like seven scissors probably gonna die off by damage over time so like so there we go nicely done cooldown increase 
You know, in hindsight, I probably should have dropped the insta kill on Reva. She's the hardest one to knock out. She's like a supercharged Scion Kylo Ren hybrid. And, but now we got it. So there we go. I think we can all could agree. That's going to be a nice fat W right there. Cool. Let's go re enable our connection and show you the other option. As you can see, I normally can't do Proven Grounds, but there's a bug which allows you to play Proven Grounds, and they're very quick to patch this. They don't want me getting the 20 shards. Team number two, this is actually quite genius. I wish I could take credit for this, but I can't. This, I got to give credit over to Doom Maker. Uh, this is bulletproof, and a lot of people did this afterwards too, after we tried some Treya stuff out. This worked for a lot of people. Basically, damage immunity cheese. You're gonna put the damage immunity on gas, and he's gonna be permanent damage immunity, and you're gonna win. And you just, it takes a little bit longer than Trey and Nihilus. Let's roll it. Let's show you how this goes. Um, we gotta do the most important tip is we need Blast Tech Weapon Mod over on Jedi Master Kill because you gotta keep up. This other team's running circles around you, but as you see, gas is gonna taunt, which is fine. And in a moment, Kenobi's gonna get in here, and okay, not quite yet. Here, just call the assist right now. All right, damage immunity on gas, and you kind of can chillax at that point. And eventually, the damage and the damage over time are going to do all the work for you. But see, if gas can't go down, your 501st can't die off. We're going to want to target Kenobi, so he boosts up his uh, ultimate and also increases his mastery. There we go. Watt Timbor did their job. That's all you're going to want. Just do some basic. This one took a little bit more time, but definitely was not unmanageable a lot of uh good praise i think this is actually trending on the top of the reddit page for one of the more helpful tips take out the papers and the trash or you don't get no spending cash if you don't scrap that kitchen floor you ain't gonna rock and roll no more yakety yak don't talk back da, 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 da. okay never mind oh come on i don't want to do this again <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Gosh, we're going to do this again, aren't we? <gasps> oh, I can't do it again. Did they patch it already? Uh, did they already patch this? Let's see. I'm hoping we can get through Reva maybe in time. Here, let's see. Here we go. Oh, almost got her. What the hell was that sound? The studio is so weird. They couldn't just let us have the free shards and... All right, unfortunately, that was all I could show for today. But hopefully those other suggestions, I'll show you a couple of the Reddit posts of things that worked for people. I tried a lot of them. They didn't work for me, but maybe with repetitive tries, eventually it would work out. Uh, we have a Lord Vader suggestion. I didn't try this particular one out, but it looks like it's a one-star one. So feel free to try that out. Uh, put Med Pack on Lord Vader as Eclipse 4598 suggests. This I tried several times. I could not get this to work for the life of me. We have this one from Kevin Chrysler. They use the SOKR cheese that you normally use against Lord Vader. Didn't work for me, but again, probably with repetitive use, you might get the right one out of 10 battles that finally work in your favor. Uh, I tried this. It didn't work either for me, but the point is to try to get Grievous as many turns as possible. He then gets the ultimate charge. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Sorry, this event's horrible. But it's manageable. Treya lead. Treya lead. Treya all day! <laughs> I'm losing my brain cells, guys. I'm going to have to let you go. Thank you for stopping by. And always remember that it's great to be in the Empire today. <laughs>